Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with EMW. Today we're going to do a 30 minute vinyasa slash yoga shred class. We don't have a lot of time, so let's get to it. We're going to roll over our shins into tabletop. So nice neutral spine at first, shoulders under your, or wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips. We're going to inhale the cow, so lowering our belly, raising our hips back, chest open. And exhale the cat. So arching your back, pushing away the ground, chin to chest. Inhale back to cow. Chest is opening your chin, rises up. Exhale back to cat. Shoulder blades separate, maybe looking to your tummy or your knees. Inhale the cow. And exhale the cat. Come back to neutral spine. Tuck your toes, lift your knees about an inch or two off the ground. So hovering here, core is engaged. Arms are really pushing away the ground. Fingertips into the mat. We're gonna start cultivating our ujjayi breath. So inhale and exhale through your nose with a slight restriction in the back of the throat. Making some noise, maybe. Just in permanent, you guys. So keep at it. You can do it. Inhale, hips up, and exhale, heels to the, towards the mat, into downward facing dog, pedaling out your feet, maybe shaking your head, yes, facing up, getting prepared to move, inhale, lift your hands, exhale, lift to the top of your mat, and just really bend your knees, coming into ragdoll, your arms are nice and long, maybe grabbing opposite elbows, Then undo your elbows and rise up slowly. Hands last to rise up. Inhale your arms up to the ceiling. And exhale, hands to heart center. So heel toe your big toes touch heels together. Maybe your heels are slightly apart. Into your Tadasana. So really growing roots in our feet, zipping everything up. Crown of the head, reaching to the ceiling. Preparing to move here. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees slightly since you're still warming up. And inhale, flat back. You take that arch out of your back, crown of your head, reaching to the front of the head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise strong, bring your up to the ceiling. And exhale, hands to heart center. Moving on here. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Now place your hands on the mat. Take your right knee into your chest and then step it to the back of the mat. Inhale your left leg into your, your chest and then come into plank. Nice long line of energy. Make sure your hips aren't too high or too low. You can always bring your knees down if you need. Again, let's start using that ujjayi breath. So again, it's, it's not permanent. Strong core, quads are engaged. Good, rock forward slightly. We're gonna lower down slowly. Maybe our chest and our tummy come down at the same time. Untuck your toes. Inhale in the cobra, elbows in, chest open. And then exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, bring your right knee into your right nose. Squeezing it in. Then inhale, leg up. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, leg up, lengthen here. And then bring your right foot all the way through. In between your hands, rise up, press the lunge. As the back heel stays up, your right knee is reaching for that heel. My strong arms, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, open up to warrior two. So your right arm's extending to the front of the room. Left arm to the back, and that knee is reaching to the heel. Take your gaze over your middle finger. And twist your wrist, we're gonna reach back reverse warrior. So your base should not move, just your upper body. Reaching that right arm back. Your left hand can be on your hip or your thigh. Maybe opening up your chest. If you want a little bit more, you can reach your left arm forward into exalted warrior. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, curl your hands down. Come into a low lunge here, opening up your chest. And then we're going to prepare to get standing foot. So 
lift your heel up to the ceiling. I don't care how high you get your heel, I just care that your hips are parallel with the ground. And you're really using your glutes and your hamstrings to lift that heel up. Okay, now on our exhale, we're gonna bring our left knee into our right knee, really squeezing everything in. And then on our inhale, we're gonna lengthen out. Exhale, squeeze it in nice and strong, good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Now inhale, lengthen, stay here. We're gonna lift our fingertips up off the ground, floating back into crescent lunge. Settling in, inhale, exhale, plant your hands, step back. We're gonna lower all the way down, untuck your toes, inhale, cobra, and then back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, left knee to left to your nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg up. Bring your leg all the way forward. Keep that back heel up. Rise, press and lunge. A strong back leg, unless you have some back issues and keep that back leg bent. Look to your, your toe. Can you see it? If not, shift your right hip back slightly. So that right, excuse me, left hip. So your left knee is tracking that left pinky side of your foot. Inhale. Exhale, open up warrior two. Maybe pull on that right hand a bit so your shoulders are over your hips. Nice strong arms, shoulders away from your ears. Now flip your wrist, reverse warrior. Again, your hand, your right hand can be wherever, but just make sure you're maintaining that nice lunge on that front leg. Maybe open your chest to the ceiling. And maybe using your right arm to reach to the front of the room. Inhale, exhale, cart with your hands down, heels comes up, open your chest, prepare standing foot. The right heel comes up. Lengthening through that heel. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze everything in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze everything in. And inhale, lengthen. Holding your flow back. Press and lunge. Inhale, exhale, plant your hands, step back. Now this time you can lower halfway down or all the way. Halfway, but turn into upward facing dog. So rolling over your toes, opening your chest. And now use your core to lift your hips up in the downward facing dog. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, all of the air out. Step or hop to the top of your back. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Maybe a little back bend. Hands to heart center. Let's speed that up a little bit. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Plant your hands, take a step or hop back. Could you just hop back with, and then try to run the arms so you can save your back a little bit. And change your back bend. And we'll even downward facing go. Inhale, right foot up. Now bring your right foot all the way forward. Rise up, crescent lunge. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Hold it here for a breath. Maybe exalt your warrior. And then cartwheel your hands down, standing split, preparing here, lifting up, holding here for breath, lengthen, and then exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. And exhale. Then one more time, really lengthen through that heel. Reach back. Press and lunge. Inhale. And exhale, plant your hands, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. If you want to skip the yasa, feel free to. You can just meet us into downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot up. Left leg all the way through. Heel stays up, rise or press and lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, holding here for a breath. Good, cartwheel your hands down. Standing split, lift your heel up, squeezing your, loosen your hamstring, 
Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Lengthen. Squeeze, and one more time. Really lengthen that heel. Float back. Press and lunge. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back into plank. Now hold plank here. Nice, strong plank. You can always put your knees down. So we're going to do some core, some plank work out here. So on my count, we're going to do either jack, jumping in and out, on and off your mat, or you can do one foot at a time. Okay, so pick your poison. I think I'm going to start with one foot at a time and maybe build up to it. Okay, ready and set and go. You can do one foot at a time like this, or you can do out, out, in, in. I'm just going to start with one foot. Or you can do jacks, remember, in and out. Just making sure you're watching your hips. Making sure you're staying in that one line of energy. Nice work, you guys. Now take a break. You can either be in child's pose here, or you can hang out on your plank. If you really want to torch yourself. You have each choice. <laughs> and let's go. Now this time I'm going to do out, out, in, in. You did. You can flip your jack. You can do child's pose, though. No practice. Maybe alternate speed if we're doing in and out. Right, right. And then the left, left. Good. Holding here, you guys. You got this. Let's take a break here. Or we'll hang in plank. Oh, great. Let's come back out. Nice, strong plate. Ready? And set and go. I'm going to start doing jacks here. And use your breath. Maybe even do it audible. Breathing out. Nice. You guys are doing awesome. Keep at it. Core is engaged. Fingertips are like ripping the mat. Okay. Child's pose or plank. One last time for this kind of plank. We'll move on to a different kind. Core is engaged. Ready, set, go. Nice work, you guys. Keep it up. You need to put your knees down in child's pose. It's totally fine. Doing your best. Really arching your back. Nice work, you guys. We're almost done with these. Ah, good. Let's go back to child's pose. Woo! Okay. Back to plank. Now we're just going to do a strong plank. We're going to touch our opposite shoulder with our hands. So right to left, left to right. Okay? Let's keep going. Again, keep that line. Try not to move your body from side to side. Keep it steady. You're on your knees. Again, just making sure that core is engaged. Take a little break here. Come on back. We can do this, you guys. Ready, set, go. Use your breath every time you touch your shoulder. You're breathing out. You guys are getting so strong. You can feel it with every move. Core is engaged. You guys. Doing awesome. Let's take a break here. Shake out your wrist. Nice. Let's do this again. Ready? And set and go. Don't hold your breath, you guys. The worst thing you can do is hold your breath. Let your breath out. Good, you guys. Nice work. We're almost done. Let's take the last break here. One more round, you guys, and we'll move on. I promise. You guys are doing awesome. Here we go. Last time. And go. Hugs are engaged. Almost done, you guys. Five more seconds. We can do this. Keep it up. And we're done. Child's pose. Take a breath here. Being um, narrow or wide, doesn't matter. Your arms can be overhead or behind you. Forehead reaching to the ground. Or you can stay in child's pose here for as long as you want, but if you want to move on, let's go for it. Let's 
we're gonna come back to downward facing dog. Lift to your hands, exhale all the air up. Step or up to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. We're gonna rise up to chair. So keep that base really solid. So your bum is moving back into space so your knees are not over your toes. And then you raise your arms up. So toe, tailbone nice and neutral, arms reaching for the sky. Wiggle your toes. Get a little bit deeper, not permanent again. Okay, squeezing your inner thighs towards each other like you have a block or a ball between your legs. Get a little deeper. Now inhale your prayer hands to prayer, prayer position. We're going to twist to the right, so your left elbow comes over your right knee. Look to your knees, make sure they're in line with each other. Get a nice solid base and then work on your upper body. Engage in that force, you're not dumping into your thighs. Making sure your bum is moving back in space as you lower. Inhale the chair. We're going to do the left side. So what I forgot to tell is that you know you can stay up here too. Or if you want a little bit more challenging, you can go ahead and come to a little bit lower. Nice work, you guys. Chest is opening up. Maybe you're looking to the ceiling. Using that ujjayi breath. We're almost done, you guys. You guys are doing great. Good. Come back to chair. Get a little lower, a little lower. And forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop back. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale. And bring your right knee until your right elbow squeeze your side body. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, cross your body, reaching towards that left elbow. And inhale, leg up. Exhale, bring the right foot all the way forward. You're going to dial that back heel down. And rise up to warrior one. So, like crescent lunge, your hips and your shoulders are trying to face the front of the room. You might need to widen your stance a little bit. Your knees is still reaching for that heel, shoulders away from your ears. If your arms are getting tired, you can cactus your arms or put them in prayer position. Now inhale, exhale, open back up to warrior two. Now inhale, we're gonna straighten our leg, reach our arms up to the ceiling, and then exhale back to warrior two, get a little bit deeper. Do that again, inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, straighten. Now stay up here nice and tall, and keep that front leg straight as we reach to the front of the room as far as you can, reach, reach, reach. Coming into triangle pose, so right arm comes to either a block or your shin. Left arm reaches to the ceiling. Make sure you're not hyperextending that knee. Keep slight bent. Engaging your quads. And then pretend that someone's ripping your arm and pulling you up, really engaging that core. Maybe your left arm comes over your ear. Maybe your right arm comes out to the front of the room too. My strong leg. Now breathe in, reach everything up, and exhale back to order two. Now keep your base exactly how it is. We're just gonna move the upper body, okay? So inhale, reverse. Exhale, we're extend a side angle. So reach to the front of the room, and then put your right um, arm on your right thigh. Your left arm reaches up to the ceiling, maybe over your head. Now we're gonna keep our base the same. We're gonna reach back to reverse warrior and then come back to extended side angle. Do it one more time, reverse, and then extended side angle. Stay here, cartwheel your hands down, step back to plank, lowering halfway or all the way, upward facing dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to the right elbow. Good. Inhale, leg up. 
Bring it all the way through. Dial your back heel down. Right side's lower over on this side. Again, maybe changing your winding your stance. Back leg is nice and strong. You're pushing out that pinky side of your back foot. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Good. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, go deeper into warrior two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower. Really push out that front heel. Now stay out here. Nice, strong, straight legs. Both arms reach into the front of the room. Reach, reach, reach. Come into triangle pose. Pretend there's a wall behind you holding you up. So you can push your arm on that imaginary wall, allowing you to twist your upper body, maybe to look up feeling. Maybe your right arm comes over your head. Maybe your left arm extends to the front of the room. And we're reaching, then come back up nice and strong. And exhale back to warrior two. Now base stays the same. Inhale back to reverse. And then we're going to do extend the side angle on this side. Imagine that wall behind you, so your bum's not sticking out, your one long line of energy. And now inhale, reverse. Exhale, exhale, extend it. And inhale, reverse layer. Exhale, extend it, reaching that right arm. Good. Bring it all the way down. Step back. We will meet in downward facing dog. However you want to get there. Inhale, lift to your hands. Exhale, all the air out. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, rise up. Hands to heart center. Let's do that quickly through. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Plant your hands. Step or hop back. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, right foot all the way forward. Right up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Now straighten the leg. Then exhale. Now straighten the leg. Keep it up. Reach to the front of the room. Triangle pose. Holding for a breath. Reaching maybe to the front of the room again. Coming back up. Warrior two. Now we're going to reach back to reverse. Then extend the side angle, reaching. Plant your hand on the ground, step back, and vinyasa your way. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, left foot forward, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, straighten, reaching into triangle pose, holding here. Reaching your right arm over, left arm comes. Straighten up, back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step back. We will meet in downward facing dog. And so look to your hands. We're going to jump all the way through, try to get to your bum. Inhale, exhale, use all your exhale to get to your bum. We're going to do some core. Lower me all the way down. Now your legs are wide, your arms are wide, your big X. You're going to bring your right hand into your left foot and come back down. And then opposite. Okay? So ready, set, go. If this is too much for you, you can bite the ball. And just going shoulder to shoulder. Totally fine. Good work, you guys. Use your breath. Nice. Take a little, one more even out, and take a little break here. Just breathe in and breathe out. Okay, let's do that again. Ready, set, go. Nice. Right. Really use your core to lift up. Try not to use too much momentum. If you don't touch your toe, that's fine. As far as you go, that's good enough. I get you free. And even out here, we're going to take a little break. <sighs> Change it up. So bring our hands under our bum. We're going to do leg lifts here. So bring your legs up. Just a slight little move. Ready, set, go. A little movement here. 
Now use momentum again, just as you do before. We're lifting up. You guys are doing great. All right, so you guys, we're almost good. Take a little break here. Ah, one big breath in. Now if you want a little bit more, you can put your hands behind your head and isolate your shoulders up. So don't move, just keep them straight. Go, let's go. Nice, you guys. You can do this. You're so strong, I know you can do it. My core is on fire, I hope yours is too. Squeezing everything in the middle. Good, you guys, and we're done. Ah, oh, bring your knees into your chest. Good little knee circles one way, the other way. And you can bring your feet wide on the mat, knees together. Just let that back and set a little bit. Heel toe your feet hip distance apart, hands on the ground. We're gonna inhale our hips up, coming into bridge. So inhale, hips up. And then maybe your hands come behind you, shoulders underneath your body if you can. Magnetizing your heels towards your head. Squeezing with your glutes and your hamstring. Neck is nice and relaxed. And so let go of your hands if you have them and lift your heels up and lower all the way down. Bring your feet wide on the mat and let's windshield wipe our knees back and forth. Bring your knees into your chest. You can do a little final twister. So arms up to a T. Bring your knees over to the right. Both shoulders just lay on the mat. Maybe your gaze is over your left shoulder. If you need a little more, you can bring your right hand on your left thigh. Give you a little more twist. Come back to center. Do the other side. Legs out long, arms by your side, maybe your gaze is at your, at your nose, or eyes are closed, palms are facing out maybe, and just letting go of all your breathing techniques and any judgment, appreciating the body for what it did for the last half hour. arms overhead, big stretch, and then your knees can come into your chest, rolling on to your comforting side, hand in your hands, take a breath here, push yourself up back to the position where we started, put your hands in your heart prayer position. Thank you so much for joining me for this 30 minute workout and I hope you have a fantastic day. The light in me bows down to the light in each of you. Namaste.
Thank you so much.